Hi, this is Richard Byrne. In this video, we're going to take a look at some of the hidden features that are within the YouTube video editing tools. These are great tools that I think often get overlooked by teachers and students. So let's go ahead and take a look at the list of videos that I have in my video manager. Now, these are all videos that I've created and uploaded. And let's take a look. So I recently uploaded this video here of a couple of dogs swimming. Let's go in and take a look at some of the options we have for this video. Now we can go to our info and settings and one of the things that you should know in here is that currently this video is unlisted which means anyone who has a link can view it but it won't pop up in a search result which is a nice option if you want to share a video but not have it discovered by every random person on the internet. You can also go in and make it public and then it will be dis discoverable. You can also make it private and if you make it private you have to share it with a specific list of people via email and those are the only people who will be able to watch the video besides yourself. So I'm going to go back to making this one unlisted. Now let's look at some of the editing options. So first of all, I can add a custom thumbnail to this. If you ever wondered how I got those uh, cover images on my videos and most of my YouTube channel, uh, I do it this way. You just go in and you can pick any picture you want, as long as it's a PNG or a JPEG file, you can put that in there. So I can go in my, my images here and I've got a whole bunch on my desktop. I can use that one if I wanted to and I can make that a custom cover for the video itself. And you can see there it's uploaded. If I decide, you know what, I don't like that one, I'll go back to using this one here. Okay, So we'll save those changes. Now let's take a look at some of the other editing features. We can go to our enhancements. And here in enhancements, I'll pause it we can go in and say we want to auto fix the color and lighting and we'll let YouTube do the work for us. You can manually adjust the colors and we can quickly see the before and after that on the page. Come on boys! And I'll go back to the default setting. where Finn, that's work. a bad idea buddy. We can change this from regular motion to slow motion. We can also turn it into time lapse. If you need to flip the video so let's say you've shot the video on your phone and you shot it with the wrong orientation. Go ahead and upload it to YouTube and then you can spin it around by rotating it left or right. Of course, if you want to trim a portion of the video, you can go ahead and trim it Come on, boys. as well. You can say, I want to trim out the beginning or I want to trim out the end. Or you can even go in and split it if you need to. If you want to split something there uh, in the middle of it, you can do that as well. I'm going to leave that as is. Now, I also have the option here to change my audio. I can put a different audio track in the background. Come on, boys! If I want to select one of these. And last but not least, we have the annotations feature. And the annotations feature will let me link a series of videos together. So here's how this will work. Uh, towards the end of the video, when we have a picture of the dogs coming out, there they are, we'll go ahead and say we want to add an annotation. And I'll add this one here as a spotlight. And I'll put it right around the dogs. And I'll say, click here to learn more about the dogs. And you can see I have my auto text expander in there, and so when I typed in dogs, it filled in everything else. And we'll share that and spread it out a little bit longer. And now it's linked to another video in my video playlist. So I'm going to open up another video over here. And I have a video of Max. He's one of the dogs in that video. And we'll go ahead and 
use this video. And we'll put that link in place. We'll say open a new tab. And we'll apply those changes. Right? Now I can also go make that text a little bit bigger. Right? And I can make my highlighting a different color. Right? Make my text a different color if I want to. I'll make that text white instead of instead of uh, black there. Right? And we'll apply those changes. Right? So those are some of the overlooked features within YouTube. And there's one other handy one that I think is really great if you have students who uh, don't want to be shown on camera or whose parents don't want to be shown on camera and that is back here in our enhancements we have the option for blurring effects Come on. and you can say automatically blur faces or you can do custom blurring and you can choose specific parts of the video to blur and so I can say edit And I can go in and I can blur out that little section if I want to. I'm going to cancel that right now, though. So I'm going to leave it just as is. I'm going to save it as it is. And you can see here, I'll get this little warning that just says, this video will be shown as the original until the edits are saved. So those are all the overlooked features in the YouTube editing suite. And for more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com.